For this lesson, we're going to be making a winter scene. You'll need scissors, glue stick, sharpie, and several colors of paper. First thing you'll start with is a sharpie and a green piece of construction paper. We're going to draw our trees. We're going to draw one big tree to go in the front and one little tree to go in the back. First start off by drawing what kind of looks like a ghost for the top of your tree and then add bigger sections as you go making bigger and bigger ghosts to your section for each section of your tree. Make four or five for your big tree. Flip your paper over and draw your little tree doing the same thing except only draw three or four sections instead. When you're done drawing your two trees, cut them out. You don't need to cut directly on the sharpie line. You can cut around them like I am in the video, but try and cut as close as you can. Cut out both trees, and when you're finished, throw away your scraps. Next, we need some snow for your trees to be growing out of, like they're coming out of the ground. So you'll need your white piece of paper after you cut out both of your trees. Use your Sharpie to draw two lines for drifts of snow on your piece of paper. You're going to cut on the top line and the bottom line is just another layer of snow. Use your scissors to cut on that line. Again, you don't have to cut right on the line, you can cut right above it or around it. See how your trees will go into the snow like they're coming out and then the blue paper will be your background. You can position everything to see how it looks before you glue it down. Glue the back of each of the smaller pieces like the snow and the trees with a glue stick. Glue the snow so it fits the bottom of your paper. Glue the trees down next. You can glue the big tree or the little tree next. It does not matter, but make sure your little tree is in the background. Because it's farther away, it looks smaller. The big tree goes in the front. You then will get some paint from your teacher and make big dots near the bottom of each of your sections. So where the curvy line is of each of your sections, draw a dot that's bigger than your Q-tip. So kind of swirl the Q-tip to make a bigger dot than just making a simple little speck on the paper. We'll do specks after we do big dots on all of the sections. If you need to add more paint on top of the dot because it's not bright enough, just dip and put more layers of paint on top of the dot. After you're done making all of your big dots, use the side of your Q-tip and dab on just little tiny dots above the big dots. Make sure you're using the side of your Q-tip and not the very end of it. It'll make smaller dots that way and you can make several rows of smaller dots so that way the snow looks like it's heavier at the bottom of your branches. You can always go back and add more to other parts of your trees. When you're finished, add some snowflakes to the sky as well. And if you want to make some of those snowflakes bigger, you can. Just make go back through and add a bigger circle to, around a couple of them if you'd like. To make brighter snowflakes, put an extra little dot of white on top of your snowflakes to make them brighter. Don't forget to sign your name at the bottom and let it dry.